Never science hungry. It's about nine o'clock at night and I've been in the microscope room for the past three hours and I've been staring through the microscope and I'm sort of on a roll. I'm doing really well. I'm getting through all these slides and I'm doing a bunch of stuff and I've just hit the end of one batch and I could start the next batch and I'm kind of feeling ready for it, except that I have gotten exceptionally hungry. And when I get hungry, I get distracted. I have to keep snacks at my desk so that when this happens during the day I can eat but snacks aren't enough for a meal and all I have been thinking about for the past three slides that I have imaged is what I was going to eat for dinner. And so hungry and tired and upset are three different ways that you can try and do stuff and just be super distracted. I think that when I'm trying to do science and I am hungry or I am tired really tired because I mean when am I not tired but like r exhausted or upset about something usually because the last experiment I ran didn't work so I'm trying to run it again and I'm really upset and I, I'm stressed out and I'm anxious and I need it to work. That's when I make really stupid mistakes. And I talked about stupid proofing my experiments in another video but I think that this is a little different. This is me sometimes thinking that I am another piece of lab equipment. I kind of mean this as a joke that like Oh, I'm doing all the manual work. I'm like a robot. But also, I, sometimes I think it's true. I'm doing a lot of work with my hands. I'm doing a lot of repetitive tasks. A lot of the same thing over and over with my hands and with my eyes and also with my brain. And so sometimes it makes me think that both my body and my brain are two of my most important pieces of lab equipment. So if those are not properly cared for, if they are not getting all of the, you know, proper maintenance and oil changes and things that they need, stuff starts to work wrong. If I am exhausted in lab, I might make a mistake and I might mislabel a tube and that could ruin an experiment. And so it's hard sometimes because I'm here and you know, there's nobody else in the lab. I've got the equipment all to myself. I'm on a roll. And so I have so much to do that I'm like, oh, I should just keep doing stuff. But I also know myself and I know that if I keep going right now, I'm just going to keep thinking about dinner and I'm going to mess something up at some point. You got to give your body the fuel that it needs to be a running piece of equipment. But that doesn't mean, especially for me, that I can replace some other fuel like sleep with caffeine. This has different repercussions. I enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning and I enjoy some tea throughout the day. But if I drink too much caffeine, I start to shake which can affect my experiments. It's not the sort of shaking that would be noticeable just to me if I was sitting at my desk and typing or something, but when I'm trying to pipette very fine things or if I'm holding something large, something heavy, I notice the shaking and it can make my pipetting less accurate. It can make me spill things, small quantities of things, you know, with the pipette. But still, I have to be thinking about what I'm putting into my body, my equipment, and how that is going to best affect my lab work in a good way or a bad way. And so sometimes I just, I feel crazy that I feel like I need to be a properly calibrated piece of lab equipment to do my proper experiments. And of course I'm talking about this at a mostly like physical level of like food and sleep and things like that. But you know, also your brain is very important. If I'm going to be thinking about stuff and I'm super distracted because I'm upset that something failed or I'm super distracted by some other thing and my brain is just running around in a thousand places, again, I might make stupid mistakes. You really need to be able to focus on your science to do it well. And so I propose that at least for me, I should never science hungry, tired, or upset. So now I'm going to go eat dinner. Late night lab thoughts. Go forth and do properly calibrated science. And of course, this doesn't just apply to science. There's a lot of stuff that you shouldn't do tired or hungry or upset. So tell me in the comments below if there are certain states in which you do not do whatever it is that you do. And in before all the, well, I don't do science drunk comments. Yeah, I, you shouldn't. That's dumb. Please, please don't do science drunk. Unless you're like one of those scientists who's like breeding new strains of yeast for beer, in which case, okay, maybe that makes sense for your job. But in general, you should not be in the lab with alcohol. Duh.